Bismillah Rahman Rahim. This is the revision of slides for the first tier. Uh, as regards the high power slides, they are 10 in number. We have um, the uh, simple squamous epithelium, simple cubical epithelium, simple columnar epithelium, pseudo stratified columnar ciliated with goblet cell, non keratinized stratified squamous, keratinized stratified squamous. Transitional epithelium, these seven are for epithelium. And we have, after that, we have three types of nerve endings. We have the uh, muscle spindle, we have uh, bacinian corpuscle, and we have finally motor in the plate with silver. These are the 10 high power slides. How can we differentiate between them? That will be seen. Uh, the first slide is the most uh, Easy slide because of its characteristic color. It is the motor end plate between two brackets, AG, that's the special stain. Why it is the most easy slide? Because it is the only slide in the 10 high power slides stained by the brown color. As we see, these are the longitudinal sections of the skeletal muscle fibers. These ribbons, parallel ribbons, are the skeletal muscle fibers parallel to each other. And then we have, this is the motor nerve coming to this uh, muscle supplying it. And at the area of contact between the nerve and the muscle, we have uh, this nerve ending, which is called uh, motor end plate. But take care, it is an easy slide, but, but most of you forget to mention the special stain which is silver so it is very important to mention the stain which is ag or silver uh, this is the second high power slide it's also very easy because it is a slide of the pacinian corpuscle as you see here the pacinian corpuscle is formed of concentric lamellae of modified Schwann cells they look like sliced onion. So this appearance is very characteristic for the Pacinian corpuscle. You see these uh, circles with the blue dots here representing the nuclei of the modified Schwann cells. So this is the Pacinian corpuscle. This is the Pacinian corpuscle. This is the Pacinian corpuscle, Pacinian corpuscle, Pacinian corpuscle. These are of characteristic holy appearance or looking like sliced onion. Again, this is a picture for the Pacinian corpuscle characterized by this holy appearance of the modified Schwann cells and in the center here we have the axon terminal. So this is the Pacinian corpuscle. This is the third slide in the high power. It is also for a nerve ending. As you see here, we have uh, this uh, small capsulated structure, this capsule here, red capsule, and inside it we have a white space, and inside also we have a few red fibers. These are the intrafusal muscle fibers. Among the uh, uh, outside this uh, nerve ending, we can see transversely cut skeletal muscle fibers. So, in this slide, here, we have what? We have uh, this capsule, and inside we have a white space, and then we have uh, fibers inside, these fibers are uh, the intrafusal muscle fibers and outside this muscle spindle we have uh, these uh, bundles here of uh, transversely cut uh, skeletal muscle fibers. Uh, they are not evident here the muscle fibers of the skeletal muscle. Here we have uh, these um, fibers. These fibers should be smaller in size compared to the uh, fibers of the intrafusal muscle. So we have here the transversely cut uh, skeletal muscle fibers and here it is the 
intrafusal muscle fiber. So if you have a capsule, red capsule, white space, and inside we have red fibers larger than the composing fibers of these bundles, so this is the muscle spindle. Now this is the first slide in the APC. In this slide you can see this is the glomerulus. This is the glomerulus in the Malpighian renal corpuscle and at the periphery we have these flat cells with flat nuclei. Look at the picture. We have these flat blue dots of the simple squamous cells nuclei. So this is the epithelium of simple squamous epithelium surrounding this group of blood capillaries forming the glomerulus. So this is an example of the simple squamous epithelium. So this slide is simple squamous epithelium. How can we know it? We can know it by the fact that the cells here in the simple squamous epithelium, the cells here are uh, denoted by the flat blue nuclei. So as they are flat, the cells are flat and the epithelium is a simple squamous epithelium. The second type of the epithelium here is the simple cubical epithelium. If you see here, these are the cells at the tip of the arrow. These cells are known by the shape of their nuclei. The nuclei here are rounded. And as we see here, this is the simple cubical epithelium. I can know it by the fact that the cells here are cubical and the nucleus is central rounded. Of course, you cannot see the outline of the cell. You cannot see this outline, but you can see the nucleus. The nucleus here is rounded and separated slightly from the base membrane. And it is in the form of one layer. It is only one layer, so it is simple. And as the cells are cubical, as noted by the shape of their nuclei, rounded and not uh, resting on the base membrane, so it is um, simple cubical epithelium. Uh, take care also that uh, uh, most probably the slide for the simple cubical epithelium it is coming from the uh, thyroid follicle and here you can see the uh, colloid secretion pink inside this follicle but this is not always the, sa the case you may have simple cubical in other side but it is the most common to bring the simple cubical epithelium from the thyroid follicles. And here we have an additional observation, which is the colloid secretion inside these follicles. This is the follicle, and this is the colloid secretion inside, which is the uh, thyroid hormones stored inside the follicles. And it is always, always pink in color. So it is an additional observation to be sure that it is a simple cubicle, but take care, we can bring a slide for simple cubicle other than that in the thyroid, but uh, you will also denote it by the shape of the nucleus and its position. Uh, this is another type of epithelium, which is uh, here the simple columnar epithelium. In the simple columnar epithelium, you can know it by the shape and the position of the nuclei. The nuclei are uh, columnar or oval, sorry, are oval in shape and they are uh, resting on the membrane, no space in between the nucleus and the base membrane. And the cell is tall here, by evident by the red color of the cytoplasm. So this is the simple columnar epithelium. And we can know it by having this um, shape of uh, the basal oval nuclei here resting on the basement membrane. And the rest of the cell will be seen as the red color above this uh, 
basal oval nuclei. So this is the simple columnar epithelium formed of one layer of columnar cells. Another slide for the simple columnar epithelium and as you see we have here the basal membrane and this is the epithelium here and this epithelium is formed of one layer because I have just one layer of basal oval nuclei so this is a simple columnar epithelium and underneath this epithelium you will have these nuclei of connective tissue cells and we have the connective tissue fibers also so the diagnosis of this slide is a simple columnar epithelium another slide for the epithelium in the high power slide is the uh, pseudo-stratified columnar ciliated epithelium with goblet cell. Here we have uh, two rows of nuclei. This is a basal row and another one above it. Then we have this red area representing the cytoplasm of the tall columnar cell. Then we have these tiny hairs which are the cilia. Among these cells, you can see these uh, empty spaces representing the body of uh, the goblet cell. So, this is the pseudo-stratified columnar ciliated epithelium with goblet cell. We can see this uh, picture we have here. This is a base membrane. And then we have, above this base, this base membrane, we have uh, the nuclei of the short columnar cells and above it we have nuclei of the tall columnar cells and then we have the top part of the cell and above it we have these tiny hairs of the cilia. Also you can see an empty areas here representing the goblet cell. empty areas or white areas like this one representing the goblet cell. So this is the pseudo stratified columnar ciliated epithelium with goblet cell. Don't forget it is the pseudo stratified columnar ciliated epithelium with goblet cell. Also, look at this picture. It is also pseudo-stratified columnar ciliated epithelium with goblet cell. This is, at first, the base membrane. And then we have two rows of these rounded nuclei. And then we have the rest of the cytoplasm of the cell. Here, the cytoplasm of the cell. And above uh, this cytoplasm, which is red in color, we have uh, the hairs of uh, the cilia. So, it is a pseudo-stratified columnar ciliated with goblet cell. Look at uh, this empty space here. It is uh, a goblet cell. And this area, it is the connective tissue which is present uh, under the epithelium. Another type of epithelium, it is a stratified epithelium formed of uh, many layers. It is the transitional epithelium. How can we diagnose this transitional epithelium? Uh, you should at first diagnose it is a transitional because it, it is a stratified because it is formed of many layers of cells. Then, if you look, the nuclei are all rounded, the basal and the intermediate and also on the top. These are the rounded nuclei of the top. Look at this and this and this and the intermediate and also the basal layer. So it is the transitional epithelium and we can now make it smaller and make a drawing for this epithelium. Here we have the basement membrane and this is the thickness of the epithelium. And the nuclei here are all rounded. All are rounded nuclei. 
either the basal or the intermediate 